Hello and welcome to PSD Touch Plus. My name is Martin Pehiniak. Today I'm going to show you a very interesting technique using Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 5 and Photoshop CC together. In this workflow, what I would like to achieve is to have a much better exposure on this photograph of this cute little girl by making the most of Lightroom's developed settings for camera roll files and Photoshop's masking features. So with this workflow, essentially, I'm going to create three different exposures from Lightroom of the same image and then pull all those three versions of the original photo into Photoshop. And there I'm going to create a perfect exposure using those three versions together. So let's get started. So first of all, what I'm going to do is to add this to my quick collection by pressing B. As you can see, it already added it to the quick collection. And once we come back to the library module, we can see it in the quick collection as the only selected photograph. We can now go back to the develop module. And what I would like to do is to create three different exposures of this uh, photo. So I'm going to keep one with the original values. And I right click on this and choose create virtual copy. Virtual copies won't take up any extra space on your computer, so Lightroom doesn't duplicate these files, just simply creates another version to add different adjustments. In this one, what I would like to do is to brighten up all the shadows. So I'm going to increase the shadow values because I would like to see all the details on uh, this cheeky girl's hair. So that looks already good. And uh, maybe I can also increase a bit the blacks something like that so even the darkest colors will be really bright i think that works quite well and maybe we can add a bit of clarity to this version then i'm going to select again the original one right click on it again choose uh, create virtual copy and on this one what i would like to do is to see more details in the background so i'm going to reduce the highlights and maybe also reduce the exposure a bit and reduce the whites so make everything much more darker in the background and maybe increase the vibrance a bit more just to see even more details and colors in the background so that looks good as well we have these three versions the normal original exposure this one with the very bright shadows and this one with the darker highlights now if I select all three of these, let me just select all of them, and then I choose Photo, Edit in, Open as Layers in Photoshop, then Lightroom will open up Photoshop and create a new document and put all these three versions in one document as three separate layers. That's exactly what I need. So let's have a look at this. We have the very bright version here on the top. Then we have the very dark version here and the normal exposure at the bottom. So what can we do now? Let's first of all select this one here on the top. First, I'm going to add a mask on this by holding down Alt and clicking on the Add Layer Mask option. It will create a completely covered up uh, layer. So it's completely hidden. I selected the brush tool, press X to switch between the colors. And I'm going to use white in this case because I would like to reveal contents of this layer. And if I start drawing over her hair, I'm actually revealing this layer, but also at the same time seeing the other layer below it. That's exactly what I want, but maybe 50% was a bit too much. Let's just reduce that down to 20%. So I'm going to be a little bit more subtle with this and draw over her face, her hand as well as to see more details there and then draw over her hair even more something like that maybe a bit more here around these details and I'm going to draw over her eyes once more so let's see before and after so that's what we use this layer here on the top if I turn it off that's how it looked before and this is after now I'm going to turn on the other layer in between with dark uh, details in the background. But once again, I'm going to create a black mask by alt clicking on the add layer mask icon. That will first cover the layer completely. And then I can draw it over again with a white brush in the background. 
So slowly, maybe here I can use 50%. I am revealing the background of the image. It's quite similar to an HDR workflow or using shadow and highlights. But with this technique, you can actually get better results because you can be very specific in what to show, how to show by changing the intensity of the layers and fine tuning your masks. So let's have a look at before and after. Once again, before and after. And if you are still not happy, you can always make adjustments to all these layers together by adding, let's just say an adjustment layer on top. So we can, for example, add a vibrance adjustment layer. And if I want to increase the colors in the image, I can always increase vibrance. So that will add more saturation to the image, something like that. So let's have a look at the original image once more by alt clicking on the eye icon here at the bottom layer and then alt clicking again. So before and after. So this multi exposure technique using Lightroom and Photoshop together can be very useful when you work with images where you have to correct the exposure. I hope you found this technique useful. Make sure you give it a try. And I hope you will join me next time as well here on PSD Touch Plus. Thanks a lot for your attention today.